Hello, this is from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create clouds easily in Blender by using this add-on called the Cloudscape add-on. It's not a free add-on, you have to pay for it. Um, and there are two versions of it, the, the Pro and the Lite. I'm using the older version of it, but the installation is and the use of it is still the same. And I'll leave a link uh, of the download below the video so you can download yourselves and check it out. Like I said before, it's uh, two versions. The four, the pro version is forty-two dollars, and the light version is twenty-four ninety, twenty-four dollars ninety cents, which is roughly twenty-five dollars. It's kind of a little bit pricey, but uh, for what it can do, it's not too bad, and it can be used in Blender three point series all the way up to four point As I think I've mentioned before, I'm using three point four myself. <clears throat> Installation is still the same, or not the same actually, it's an asset library as opposed to an add-on. And to install it after you've downloaded it, it will come as a zip file. You have to extract it into this own open folder, which would be this. And then you go to Edit, Preferences, and you go to File Paths. I've already installed it, but I'm just going to walk you through the uh, process of, of having it added to the asset library. To click on this plus button here and then once you've done that you navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system or an easy way to do that if you have the folder already open left click right click copy uh, left click there and press control V on your keyboard enter and then you click on cloudscapes and click on asset library you know add it to your library uh, which is done right here for me already. Uh, Blender <clears throat> has an automatic save feature, but if you just want to make sure that you, it's still there when you open up Blender again, just click on Save Preferences, and then you're good to go. And to access it, we're going to divide our window up, left click and drag in this corner. And we're going to click on this icon here, and we're going to go to Asset Library. Click on this option up top, which says Current File. Left click on that from the drop down menu. Click on Cloudscapes. And it's right here. And you've got uh, all kinds of clouds Cumulus clouds, um, Auto Cumulus here. I think there are probably like 50 to 100 variations of clouds here, all presets, which is great. So you have to worry about trying to uh, create them yourself. Um, the ones that are not as dense show up a little bit better. But let's change our viewport so we can drag in uh, or apply a cloud to our scene here. So with our cube selected, press delete on our keyboard. And go to our world settings and, and the color slot. Left click in there from your pop-up wheel or color menu. We're going to left click and drag this to the top to make the scene uh, and the viewport lighter. And we're going to make it like a bluish color, represent like the sky. And for us to see the results in our viewport, we're going to change our viewport render uh, by left clicking on that icon there. And now we it represents what we've just changed on this end of Blender. Now this is an Eevee. It renders an Eevee in cycles, but an Eevee, it's kind of pretty much eliminates all the... Um, all the detail in the cloud, so it's not that good to use, but in cycles, it renders a lot better. Right now, we're in Eevee, and I'm going to change our... Let's leave it in Eevee first. I'm going to drag in... Uh, let me see. Let's go to a number. Let's try 7. Left-click and drag this in. This is how you import a cloth from here. Left-click and drag. Left-click and drag this over into your viewport and release. And there is your clouds. Now it comes in darker. <clears throat> and for some reason it comes in uh, lying down in the wrong position. Let's press there on our keyboard. Uh, let's turn the viewport back to the way it was before. And right now it's laying flat on the sides. And it's on the x-axis to make have it stand up right. Press R, X, 90 on keyboard. Enter. Then press 1. And now we can see the cloud here. And once we go back to our EV viewport here, you can see it there kind of flickering. But let's change it to cycles. So we're going to go to our render scene here. 
left click in that option there, turn it to cycles. And from CPU, if you have a strong enough uh, computer or graphics card, turn it to GPU. And then you have it, you have your cloud there, but it's dark. And that's one thing I've seen with all the clouds that are here. They're not self-illuminated, so to speak. They don't um, have the ability on their own to pretty much be lighter than they are. This is how they all come in. Um, but we're going to, you have to add a sunlight to it yourself. Left click here on that uh, lamp and delete that because that's, that's a spotlight. That's not going to provide enough light. And shift A. Now for myself, you can use any light you want, but uh, the default lights in Blender, they don't work too well. So I'm going to use a light from a, another add-on that I've already showcased, which is the extra lights add-on. And I'm going to click on direct sun. You can see instantly just makes the cloud a little bit too bright. Um, so I'm going to take my move gizmo, click on that, left click and drag on the X axis, left click, click and drag on the Z axis to bring it above our cloud setting there. And with our lights still um, selected, go to our light options here and turn this down to 20. Enter. You can see the cloud is there. Now let's render this out in Eevee and let's see how this looks. Let me go back so you guys can see how uh, the cloud looks in Eevee. Because like I said before, it seems to just pretty much delete the details in the cloud setting. So I'm going to press F12 and I'll get back to you guys once it's rendered out. It renders out fairly quickly, but I, I don't want to waste time in terms of rendering. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back, and as you can see, this has been rendered out in Eevee. It took about that's 0.27 seconds, which wasn't that long. But all the details in the clouds is completely gone. It's not there at all, so that's not good. So let's render. Let me render it out in Cycles, so you guys can check that out and see the difference between Eevee and Cycles. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And now we've run this, this out in the cycles at uh, a very high sample rate. And as you can tell, um, it keeps the detail of the clouds, but it's really, really pixelated, which is not what we're wanting, if it, especially if you're having a scene where you have a close-up of, of the clouds. And I've seen that no matter how high, because this is at 4,096 samples, no matter how high the samples are, it always comes out pixelated, which I don't know why that is. But to fix that, left click on the cloud itself, and we're going to go to the shader uh, editor. Left click on that. Let's uh, give ourselves some more real estate to work with. Let's scroll up. And here in the density is where you have to make the change for it to appear on your clouds. So we're going to left click there and press 0.5 enter. And now the, the clouds aren't as dense as they were before. I'm going to render this, this out at the same sample rate. Let's make this even lower. Lower the samples. 128. Enter. Let's, let's make it, uh, let's say maybe, yeah, 128 is fine. So I'm going to press F12 and I'll be back and I'll show you the results of that. Okay, and we're back. And that took a little bit less than a... A little bit less than two minutes to render out and look at the difference i mean look at how more realistic this cloud setting looks just by reducing the density of your clouds so if you are wanting to use the cloudscapes uh, asset browser or assets always remember that with the denser clouds which would be uh, let's go to our asset browser again which would be these darker fuller clouds Always go into the shader editor and reduce the density to 0.5. The wispy ones, like the lighter ones, like these clouds here, these are fine. These render out great so without having to adjust anything. But the thicker clouds, like the numbers, and let's scroll down and this circle. Like I said, a lot of clouds and all these clouds here, you have to reduce the density and add light source to the clouds in order for them to look more realistic and actually stand out in your scene. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. I hope this was helpful for those of you who have watched it. And I really appreciate you guys and thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Uh, thank you guys for all your assistance and all the views. That's helped out quite a bit. And remember to like and subscribe. 
and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.